go. That's what we need. I am so well to see the desire of the leaders coming together. The leaders coming together as one. You know, it's amazing to me that the only unanswered prayer of our Lord in John 17 is that we may be one. And I see a lot more of that this time than I've ever seen. And the desire of the leadership in the churches to unite and pray. Uh, we had dinner with some of the leaders and their heart's desire was to do more networking, to get more, to do more coming together, praying together, interceding together. And the results are going to be astonishing because that kind of unity commands the blessing of the Lord on Romania, even life forevermore. That kind of blessing touches the, the deepest, uh, uh, the depth of God's love and God's passion. And the rain has already begun to fall. The, the Spirit of God has already begun to move. What he's waiting on is a dimension of unity among the brethren so that we can not only impact uh, the families involved, but the churches, the villages, and yes, indeed, the entire nation. Oh, I'm so confident that God has great plans for Romania. Uh, great are his plans. There is not one city in this land that is too strong for him. Our God is almighty. Absolute power belongs to him. And when his people who are called by his name will humble themselves, seek his face, crave him. Oh my God, eyes have not yet seen, neither have ears heard. It has yet begun to enter the heart of men. The wonderful things, the wonderful miracles, the wonderful uh, restoration that we will see take place in this land and beyond. What a day to be alive. I'm so thrilled to have been here and I can't wait to come back and even to hear the wonderful reports of what God has been doing and what God will continue to do as he shows himself strong that he is a God of exceedingly abundantly more. He is able and more than able. Amen. Amen.